E aí galera, tranquilo? Vamos lá continuar nossa detonada de Dragon Age Inquisition. Vamos lá tentar matar, terminar de matar o Carifio. Nós paramos aqui, né? Acabamos de matar o dragão. E vamos tentar terminar de matar ele. O life dele tá na metade, eu acho que agora dá pra gente conseguir terminar de matar. Restauramos nosso life ali, né? Mas a apelação aqui continua, não tem problema. Caramba! Olha o que ele tá fazendo. Bora, meu filho. Vai lá que tá indo. Vai que dá. Sei não, viu? Duvido muito. Nossa, aquela magia ali, ela tá atacando meus carinhas, velho. Espero que não, né, cara? Nossa, olha a facada que ele deu, velho. Nossa, que da hora que tomou do cara. Tomou do cara e transformou em verde, cara. Solus, your Are you sure? We could take the pieces, try to... That would not recover what has been lost. Inquisitor, are you alive? Oh, obrigado. Ah, galera aí. Then it's over. How lovely. And the sky is healed, healthy, whole. There's just that left to remember. Looks that way. What do we do now? Cadê o senhor? Sumiu? Será que ele estava interessado naquele, na, no, naquela magia também?
Eita, finalmente chegamos ao fim de Dragon Age Inquisition. Eu acho que é o fim, né? Matamos o Carithel. Matamos seu dragãozinho. Seu mascote de cinemação. Vamos dar sequência aí pra ver o que, que vem aí em seguida. Nossa, véio, que jogo. Olha meus conselheiros lá. Isso aí, velho. São, são federal esses três. Ajudou pra caramba. Só que esse carinha que eu escolhi ficou nada a ver, né, galera? Eu escolhi o cara do, do jogo. Dá pra ter equipado um carinha melhor. Mas pra ser sincero, eu nem achei que eu ia chegar a salvar esse jogo. O jogo comecei a jogar ele mais pra testar mesmo e gostei demais do jogo e então resolvi continuar. Um momento, my lord. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. E agora? O que, que será que eu ponho aqui? It's odd that he would just leave without a word. You said he was upset about the orb. That can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in Southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. The fighting's over. Why do they want to meet me now? <laughs> You're joking, yes? They wish to bask in the glory of your victory, hoping that some of it will rub off on them. Everyone knows Gaspard owes you his throne. The greatest empire in Thedas is at your beck and call. A thousand problems remain. And your opinion will be sought on each one, whether you wish to give it or not. Bom, que foi todo mundo que venceu, na verdade, né, galera? As the saying goes, to the victor go the spoils. They see more than victory. Previously, you were an upstart, a Dalish elf leading a band of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, They could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Vou tentar. Vou tentar tomar as cachaças aí. Retire-se para os seus aposentos. Deixa eu chegar ali no meu quartinho para ver o que, que rola ali no quartinho, né, galera?
Vou dormir, malandro. Vocês fica aí. Curtam a noite. Agora o céu limpou, é. said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orlais, where Gaspar has ascended to the Golden Throne. He rules unopposed. Each noble house that rises up against him soon realizes it has made its last mistake. He settles disputes with Ferelden, freeing the Orlesian armies to fortify the northern Tevinter borders. His victories are many. Strength and stability are restored to Orlais. For now, Sadly, Gaspar soon forgot his gratitude towards the Inquisition. Icy receptions meet the Inquisition inside the Imperial Court, where most prefer that Orlais bow to no one, not even heroes. Thus, many believe that when the next challenge to the Usurper comes, Gaspar will stand on his own. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Hawk is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something? Far worse. One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Cassandra as successor to the Sunburst throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she immediately enacts reform, a new Templar order, and a new circle of Magi. A proclamation of support for the Inquisition is issued, recognizing its service to all of Thedas. Despite her popularity, the new Divine's reforms are seen by some as going too far. A new sect arises, demanding a return to the status quo. Negotiations quickly break down. It is the first time the Chantry has ever declared open war against itself. Those Templars of the Inquisition who were recruited at Therenfall Redoubt are left with a choice. In the end, Many return to the Templar Order when it is reformed by the Divine. Those who remain under the watchful eye of Commander Cullen become the core of the Inquisitor's personal guard. And what of the Inquisition itself? It has eyes and ears in every hall. No secrets are beyond its reach, and that knowledge has become the source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. Bom, galera, e é isso aí. Chegamos ao final de mais um detonado. É, sinceramente, para mim é um dos melhores jogos que eu já joguei até hoje. A história do jogo é fantástica. É, infelizmente, não consegui jogar, tipo, tirar proveito do jogo, tudo que ele oferece, 
por não ter conhecimento no jogo suficiente para poder utilizar isso, mas usando, né, a, empurrando com a barriga mesmo aí, na verdade, tipo, consegui salvar o jogo e me divertir pra caramba do, com o game. É, lembrando que ainda falta bastante coisa para fazer no game, não fiz tudo. Tem, eu acho que é 10 dragões para matar. Não matei nenhum até agora. Vou tentar encontrar esse dragão em muitas áreas que eu sei que eu não frequentei. Porém, vou fazer tudo isso, tudo isso em off. Só vou gravar quando encontrar os dragões para poder matar. E... Então tá explicado aí basicamente porque que o jogo ganhou como o melhor de 2014, né? O jogo do ano. É um jogão, cara. Nossa, fantástico, fantástico mesmo. Muito bom, gostei. Espero que vocês tenham curtido também aí. Se gostaram mesmo aí, galera, se inscreva no canal, deixe seus comentários aí, dá like no vídeo, um abraço a todos. E até o próximo detonado, valeu, falou, fui!
you would come. You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well. 